book 290. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the young man and the magic pen. That's right, the young man and the magic pen. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um... A long, long time ago, in an area of the earth which had sunk beneath the sea, there lived a young man who loved nothing more than to spend his time drawing the things which he saw in nature. This young man, who was one of my ancestors no less, would spend countless hours sitting beneath a tree, next to a river, or out in an open field, drawing all of the sights that he could see with his eyes. He would draw animals, flowers, plants, and trees, and he would always save his drawings in the hopes that he could one day sell them for money. One day, as he sat in an open field drawing the things which he could see, he noticed something strange on the branch of a tree in front of him. What is that? He asked himself, getting up to go investigate. Reaching the tree, he noticed the strange thing was a small man with wings upon his back. Are you, are you a magic cayune? The young man asked, thinking about the stories he had heard about such small flying creatures. Indeed, I am. The magic Cayune replied, and today is your lucky day. Make any wish that you like, and I will grant it for you. The young man thought about his wish carefully. He knew that the magic Cayune would indeed grant his wish, but the elder said that all Cayune were evil, and with every wish they granted, they would invite evil into the life of the person who made the wish. Thinking he knew the perfect wish to make without bringing himself harm, the young man said, I wish for a magic pen so that anything I draw with this pen will become real. As you wish, the magic Cayun replied. He then worked his craft of magic and flew off into the woods. The young man grinned, a huge grin, and then he sat down to test the results. He drew one gold nugget. And as expected, the gold nugget rolled off his page and became real. The young man laughed with excitement and drew another gold nugget, and it too became real. Then he drew so many gold nuggets that he became very wealthy. When the people saw how rich he had become, a group of rascals ran into his home one day to rob him. They tied him up and beat him, and then they ran off with all of his gold. Because of this, the young man became angry and he drew more gold in order to make himself rich again. And this time, he decided to also draw something that could help protect his gold. The young man used his imagination and he drew up the most terrifying creature to ever exist. It had the face of a lion and the horns of a bull upon its head. Its body was human, but it had a total of six arms. Its legs were the legs of a horse and its skin was the skin of a rhinoceros. To ensure that this beast would defend him without mercy, instead of giving it a normal heart, he drew for it a heart as cold as ice. He laughed as this beast came to life and he wished his attackers would come back a second time. When the beast was fully formed, it turned its bloodthirsty gaze towards the young man and since its heart was ice cold and it had no concept of love or loyalty, The beast attacked the young man and promptly ripped him to shreds. As he died, he went on to the realm of the ancestors and he remembered the words of the elders, which said that all the Cayune were evil and their granted wishes always ended up badly. And so, the morning motivation of today is the young man and the magic pen. In this world, we have all been granted the power to create for ourselves the reality that we desire. However, when we create for ourselves a reality with evil intent in mind, we will almost certainly fall victim to the evil which we intend for others. Remember, you were born with a gift and you were born with a special talent, but you were not born with this talent for you to use it to hurt and harm others. Control your emotions and do not become consumed with evil intentions. Instead, create for yourself the reality that you want to live in. Protect yourself with only righteous intent and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are wonderful and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com. 
or visit www.dandyandbigherm.com.